Welcome back. I'm sitting in for Cynthia Nyamaya, and this is the day's business. The National Taxpayers Association is faulting the government over the introduction of a three-year voluntary tax disclosure program. The body argues that while the amnesty provides the opportunity for organizations to rectify any past gaps in tax declarations and payments, it also provides room for complacency among taxed evaders who continue fueling illicit financial flows. The coming into effect of the Tax Law Amendment Act of 2020 beginning of this year saw the introduction and implementation of a voluntary tax disclosure program which will run for a period of three years beginning 1st of January 2021. The amnesty that started in January is a three-year program in which KRA has offered up to 100% interest and penalty waivers on taxes that have not been paid in five years. However, tax experts are faulting the legislation, saying it is creating a comfort zone for tax evaders. Where it becomes dangerous, when it, when it, when it becomes institutionalized, where even the people that are evading that money count with it, they know that after every two years there will be a moratorium. After every five years there will be a moratorium. When you when institutionalized in that way, it becomes actually a disincentive and even to a worse situation encourages um, even a more uh, illicit financial flow. So what we need now, we need now, is some people to be hanged in Uhuru Park. Some of these people we know. Just quick, effective action. Take them, execute them, you will see what will happen. They argue that although the cost of recovering the monies may be high, the government needs to look into other avenues to recover funds stashed in offshore accounts. How do we help and how is our role important in terms of the oversight, representation and legislation? Our concern then has been that the government is not looking at other options where it can improve revenue. And we are also looking at the state of uh, public services uh, here in Kenya. On the other hand, the taxman is betting on the voluntary tax disclosure program to bring more individuals and firms to the tax bracket in the war on evasion. The Kenya Revenue Authority raised 1.67 trillion shillings in the year ended June and is banking on the amnesty to collect 1.9 trillion shillings by June 2022. Regina Manyara reporting for Prime Edition.